stupid tape from IFB in New York, which is enough. Okay, there it goes. All right, Prince Ronnerid, can you hear me? Yes. Very Hello. good. Thank you very much. Let's just try this for a moment and be sure that uh, it's comfortable for you. Is the sound all right? I have some issues with my earphone. I, I beg your pardon? Oh, no, no. It goes up around here. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, stick it in your ear till you're comfortable. Okay. All right. Sidney Schamberg, can you hear me all right? Is that better? No. Sidney Schamberg, can you hear me all right? Very good. I can indeed. Thanks very much for joining us. This, uh... Let me just uh, let me just warn you, Sydney. What's going to happen here is I'm on a, a wee bit of a delay uh, out here. By the time your voice reaches me, going up and down to the satellite, uh, I'm going to every once in a while. If I think you're pausing, I may jump in with a with a question. But if you want to go on, you just go right on, and I'll stop talking. Okay. Now, Prince Runnerid, can you still hear me? All right. Yes. I just want to be comfortable for you. Welcome for us. Thank you. Is the sound all right? All right. All right. Sydney, I wonder if you would just uh, say hello to Prince Ronnerid and exchange a few comments so that we can be sure that the two of you can hear one another. Sydney? Sydney? Hello, Sydney Schamberg? Just take the mic out, or all right, uh, Sydney. Can you hear me all right, Sydney? Yeah, I can now. I wasn't before. Would you just be good enough to say a few words to Prince Ronnerid and make sure that the two of you can hear one another? Good evening, Mr. Shamba. Very well, and you? I'm very pleased. Not to meet you, uh, but to hear. <laughs> I just, I, I just saw uh, your, uh, your film yesterday. Yes, the killing field. In Bangkok, yes, just yesterday. <laughs> you might be interested in knowing, Sydney, that there was a considerable controversy here over uh, whether to edit the film, uh, and you'll be happy to know that they did not. <laughs> Uh, I'm not quite clear on that. Uh, I was, uh, we, were, we were engaged in conversations with some folks over at the Foreign Ministry and they simply made passing reference to it, but I'll try and find out for you. Yeah. Just one point I'd like to make to both of you, and that is this is, this is supposed to be a conversation more than an interview, and uh, the two of you should feel free to talk to one another uh, and ignore me. You are far more interesting, and what you have to say is a far greater interest to our audience than what I have to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Sydney, I've just been told what they were thinking about editing was the walk through the field with all the skulls. Did you hear me? All right, I'm not hearing Sid Schanberg now. Sydney, can you hear me all right again? Yeah, uh, did you hear what I just told you? Okay, uh, I'm, I've just been told that what they were thinking of editing out was the scene where Dithpran is walking through the field with the skulls. I don't know. Yeah, we're right after the broadcast. As soon as we get off the air, we're hopping on a charter and flying over to Ho Chi Minh, and I just came back from there uh, the night before last. Uh, 
yes, it's you know it's a little bit difficult because we're going through a uh, we're going through a Russian ground station, uh, which, however, the uh, about which, however, the Vietnamese feel great proprietary interest. You've been out here, you know you know what it can be like. in Ho Chi Minh City. So it, I mean, it actually belongs to the Vietnam, well, it's a Russian ground station, but the Vietnamese say it's their ground station. So you've got Russian technicians running it and the Vietnamese saying it's ours. It is that. I mean, we, we didn't know that the, uh, that the satellite was working, that the ground station was working for three days because the Vietnamese wouldn't let us in. And then when we finally got there, the Russians said, oh yes, we've been watching movies from Moscow. It's been working for three days. No. Uh, we're, we're doing that in large measure as kind of a backup, and uh, I'm here today, but I'll be uh, coming out of Ho Chi Minh City on Monday. Yeah, it, it should be an interesting program because we have Kissinger and Le Duc To. But not together. Uh, well, uh, together again for the first time, as they say. <laughs> Sure, please. Yes. No, no. <laughs> please, please, could you repeat, please, your question? Mm-hmm. Yes. No, no, absolutely not. You know, he asked uh, his partners of coalition government to allow him uh, to resign from his... Uh, ...during the program, so don't waste it now. Right now, choose its line for this. Uh, yeah, Rick, I'm just being given a new microphone, so hang in there. I'm going to need a little more cord if you can. Can you hear me on this microphone now, Rick? Uh, it's, it's almost impossible to hear this little mic. Really? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is Bangkok talking up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now, um...
Hmm. All right, guys, we're going on the air in about 20 seconds. Please close the door tightly, Nick. We're on the air. We're on the air. Close the door, please. Hatred has a long tradition in this part of the world. Long before anyone out here had even heard of the United States, Chinese had been killing...